Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britta and you are watching Bits with Britta. Hello, welcome back. And if for those of you that are new, please consider subscribing and pressing the little bell icon so you can find out when I'm having new videos. Today's video is going to be all about meal planning. Everything that I do to get ready for my whole family to have their breakfast, lunches, and dinners prepared for the week. I use the Life in Apples Meal Planner, Weekly Guided Planner for Simple and Healthy Meal Planning. And I really like this one because it helps me stay organized with what I need to do for each week for my whole family for meal planning. This week, I've already put in all of my breakfasts and lunches for the week. The top squares I kind of divide in half and the top little triangles are what my children are gonna eat and the bottom triangle for each one is what I'm going to eat. Same with lunches, so I already have all of that planned in. Where it says IF, that means that I am intermittent fasting and I am not eating a breakfast. So then I wait and I eat my first meal at lunch. I'm going to be using three different things to help me plan for the week. I have the Keto Instapot book, which I love. I also use this for the crock pot. And I also have the Keto 500 Inspirational Ketogenic recipes for the crock pot, which I also love. I also use Pinterest a lot, so I have recipes that are saved onto my Pinterest. And that is how I'm going to pick out what we are eating this week for dinner. The first thing that I need to figure out is my busy evenings. The evenings that either A, I'm not going to be home and I work in the evenings, or is it a busy evening for my children and people are going to have to eat quickly here. On the nights that I work, I need to have some Instapot or some Crock-Pot meals. On the nights that I'm home and I have some time to cook, I can do some different things that are going to be a little bit lengthier for cooking. So for Friday, we are going to need an option that is meatless. This is Lent, and so we are going to be eating some salmon and some veggies. So Wednesday and Thursday night, I need to go to work, so I need to pick something that is keto-friendly for my family, but also something that I can put in the crock pot. I've picked keto chili for one of the evenings when I am not home. Keto chili is easy to put in the crock pot and everyone can get their own and be able to have their dinner without mom being around. I'm gonna do kind of a taco Tuesday night with quick and easy paleo taco skillet. This is really quick to, to make and doesn't have a lot of ingredients. Next, out of my Keto Instapot recipe book, I'm going to be selecting chicken noodle soup, which really isn't noodles, it's gonna be zucchini noodles. I already have some in the freezer, I have my chicken, and that should be an easy one to do for this week when I am working and not home. This is one of my favorites, Reuben in a Bowl. It is low carb and it doesn't take very long to put together. I will be making Reuben in a Bowl and that will be on Monday. Next, I take all of everything that we need for the week and I create my shopping list. Now I have all of my different sections of the grocery store ready, produce, frozen, pantry, deli, dairy, and other. Now I can fill out my shopping list and figure out what I need to buy. And that's how I meal plan for the week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing. Take care.